Hi, I'm not yet dead and welcome to a lime spreading test. Farming Simulator 19. So uh, yeah, hello. Uh, mm, I um, I haven't done any sort of mod reviews, testing, that kind of stuff. I used to call them mod roundups, but um, I just don't have time for them at the moment. It's um, a really difficult thing to try and find the time to do, especially with the number of mods we're getting up. It, it's it's um, really hard to try and keep up. But um, on my Marwell Manor uh, series, I bought this recently, and it seemed to be, and I could be wrong, and if I am, this video might never get shown, but it seemed to be that this used a lot less lime than the other lime spreaders that I'd used already. So I was curious. So I thought I'd try a test. So I've set myself up a test map, bought myself a couple of my favorite tractors. So we're here on New Woodshire, uh, just because it was one of the maps that I'd got loaded. And it's got lots of good fields for testing because they're not too big, you know, uh, there's lots of things going on. So uh, it's a good field for testing. So let's go through what we have in our test lineup. Uh, and I'll just do this in the store actually, because it's easier. Um, so a lot of these are mods. I've also, for testing purposes and for a bit of confirmation, um, I've got the Bradle K105, uh, both in 11,000 litre configuration, one with the rear spreading unit, I forget what it's called, um, and one without, just to see if there is a difference and sort of our sort of test, base test. We've got the Amazon ZJB, I'll put all of the details for the modders in, in, the, in the, um, the notes in the video. But yeah, the Amazon ZJB is 5500, 8200. I got the 8200 version uh, again, just so we've got size and I'm not constantly refilling it. We've got the ZAM 3000 uh, 3, litre configuration and we've got the ZAU with 18 metre uh, spread. One's 24 metre, one's 18 metre. Uh, both at their maximum, I think, 3000 and 1800 each. And then we've got the Stroutman Stroit Blitz, which is a manure spreader but also does lime and actually is the reason for us doing this test um, because I thought it didn't seem to use as much manure uh, uh, manure <laughs> or lime as you might otherwise call it. The interesting other thing about these and, and uh, it's also obviously worth bearing in mind they're also under fertilizer technology with the exception of the straight blitz is price. So these are pretty good uh, price wise but mm, they're quite low capacity and you do you, you use a lot of lime so you're gonna have to refill them a lot if you've got any vaguely reasonable size fields these ones are configurable um, I say the K105 that I've got um, I got in its uh, sort of second level up so 11,000 litre configuration and I've got one with spreading discs which is the default and one with the six minute spreading unit so we'll see both of those in action um, and then there's this one which is 38,000 so I mean they're not cheap pieces of equipment by any stretch um, so the other thing that's worth thinking about when it comes to you know choosing um, is the stroke blitz not only will it do manure as well but it only costs 15,000 though of course unless you're otherwise doing hook lift you do need um, you know a sort of hook lift base unit I've got the in-game lizard with crawler tracks just because it looks cool um, which is good enough reason so I've set myself up. So I've got this field here, which um, is ready and needs liming. So I've harvested it specially so that we're good to go. So as our base, let's start with the in-game default setting, you know, with the spreading discs rather than the six meter spreading unit. We use our rather lovely JCB here. You know, I always used to think that the Deutzfahr Warrior was a big tractor until I bought both of this one and the Deutzfahr at the same time and saw them side by side. This thing is huge. Got a nice wide Michelin tyres. It looks awesome. I do like the JCB. Anyway, um, yeah, ignore the car harvester on the header there, just there, because, well, actually, the harvester's still got crops in it because I haven't emptied it yet since I harvested this field. And I'm going to harvest that field next. Um, just uh, so I've got a couple of fields I can be playing along with. What I've done is I've installed one of these. Now this isn't about cost, so I'm going to buy all of the lime from here. I'm not worried about whether this is more expensive than getting it in, you know, pallets or bags or whatever else. It's just a quick and easy way to do it. It is more expensive, I am sure. Um, but I, I put one of these in just so that I've got something easy access. So for all my tests, lime done. 
So we'll fill this up, this is 11,000 litres this takes, and we'll see, same field, basically we'll, we'll lime it completely, I'll try and get it accurately to the cut to the edge, which is not going to be easy, but I don't, you know, if there are significant differences, I don't think that will be the reason, you know, my inability to start with the correct spread distance from the edge of the field is not going to be the reason that it doesn't work. Um, and I'll do each one of these fields and each time we'll see how much we've used. I'm kind of hoping that for the bigger ones we'll get it all in one go and it'll be right well we start with 11,000 we've ended up with X um, <clears throat> therefore we've used so much obviously those smaller ones I'll need to keep refilling um, so let's see I'm rubbish at guesstimating these things actually that's not too bad so I'm, I'm losing a little bit from the edge of the field so I'll pull over a little bit, right, and then we'll just set a worker, because the worker will do it far neater than I can. But yeah, so we'll we'll do one. I'm not obviously not going to make you sit and watch all of these. What I will do, though, is where we've got um, the smaller ones and they need to refill, I'll show you each time I refill. A, because actually it's a sort of a, a check for me as well to ensure that I'm, I'm you know, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping track of how many times I've had to fill it. It'll just be easier for us then to figure out. Please tell me you can do this. Perhaps I could have cut the trees down at the edge of the field, but it's not that small. Um, uh, but yeah, so it'll be easier then for me to track how many times we filled it and make the calculation easier at the end. And we'll just see. Say, so it could be that there's no difference at all. He's doing a pretty poor job, isn't he? Um, but, um, and I might. You know what, if they consistently show this little bits here and there at the end, then I'll, so I won't worry about it. The tiny little bit here and there at the end of a field, probably not going to make masses of difference. This is about overall, you know, consumption. Um, and it, are there significant differences? So I'm hoping that little things like that won't make a massive amount of difference. We will see. Anyway, so this is test one, our sort of default it's the in-game bradle with uh, with the six meet with the, the usual discs rather than the six meter spreading unit, and uh, we'll see how much this uses. Okay, so first one is done. So that was 11. Oh, start the engine. Uh, what's that? 11,000 minus 1,633. Like I say, he's not done every single little patch of field, but you know what? Can't see it being that much. You know, if it's going to be that impactful, that shouldn't make a lot of difference. So let's see. Uh, I'll put the number up on screen. Brain's a bit dead. So what's that? 11,000 minus 1,633. So that's, yeah, whatever that is. Um, so we'll put that up on screen how much that's used. Let's empty that, and I can use that to, read, to load the next one. Doesn't I think it has these a piece? Maybe the alpha line. Anyway, so test one complete. I should have emptied that because what I now need to do is come out again, reload again, and uh, take the second choice. You see, I bought some more equipment in, these, in the meantime. I thought while I was waiting, I'd go and empty that combine. Um, yeah, we'll take the next choice. And next choice, actually, we'll use the other in-game bradle so that we know what we're doing. I'll see you in a sec. Right, so here we are back. Um, so I don't know why I bought that stuff. That was a bit dumb, wasn't it? Because, of course, there's no point in buying something and doing something else while I'm waiting because I'm not saving the game. So, obviously, I'm not saving the game um, each time because to make it a fair test we're going to start with the field in exactly the same state not that should make a lot of difference it's the same field but let's be certain not to mention the fact otherwise I'd have to keep going you know through about three harvest cycles to uh, to get it back to the needing line again um, but yeah so now we've got the bradle with the um, the rear spreading unit and I'm, I think if I remember rightly let's just check um that have wider spread? Yeah, 18 meters, okay. So let's try and, <coughs> and I'm not very good at this. I'll admit that straight away. But let's try and allow for that. Let's 
<laughs> yeah, still missed a bit, but that's alright, because I did with the other one too. <laughs> so that's okay. Right. Gonna work on it. It doesn't feel to me like that's that much wider, but I suppose it must be. Uh, yeah, so... Previous one, was it 11,000 minus, was it 1,633? I'll check. The numbers will have been on the screen. Um, so we'll see how this one does. So this one's nearly finished. I figured it was worth showing this because actually it looks like he's going to carry on and do this very final edge of the field, which could be questionably worth it. But the point is at this point, you know, for that tiny little bit that he's actually not going to do. So he tried it, but he decided it wasn't worth it. So if I wanted to note this before he did it because it's 4,000. Had he done all of that, he would have used quite a bit more, but just for that tiny little edge of the field. So this is all dependent on field shape, field size, but that's 4,641, so I'm just going to make a note of that. So that's 11,000 to start with, with 4,641 left. Whereas with the same unit, with the with the standard 6 meter spreader, or uh, spinning disc spreaders, it was down to 1,633. That's 300 litres less, 3,000 litres, sorry, less that he's used. That's quite significant. So it's true. I mean, I hadn't really tested before, but I had heard, um, you know, the other YouTubers say that uh, the, the the rear unit, although it's quite a bit more. How much more is it? Uh, how much more does it add? Wow. Yeah. So it adds. It's eight thousand more. But you know what? If you're doing a lot of lime, I mean, on a bigger field, that would be even more significant. You no, know, there's odd patches he's not done, but so there was on the previous one. So I'd say that's 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 pretty good. Okay, that's pretty conclusive. All right, carrying on. Right, so here we are back. So I've returned the two bradles. They're now done. We've got the Amazon ZGB. This is the 8200 because I I um increased its capacity. Going on recent experience may not be quite enough depending on how much it uses uh, which of course we don't know it's kind of over here Just check the unfold of that that's fine um, so uh, we'll have to see how that does actually while it's filling not that that will take very long but while it's filling I can check its spreading width so let's just unfold it open we'll start doing it and fill and its spreading width is what 26 meters wow so even wider than the other one okay sorry for going down this bank it's just an easier route out so you need to allow more width not that I've got it right once so far, so it doesn't make an awful lot of difference. No, no, I don't want to do that. Right. That wasn't bad. Okay. Over to the worker. It's a good width, actually, isn't it? Wow. It's just something else to bear in mind. But we're burning through it. It's already used a thousand litres in one strip. But of course, it's going to need fewer strips than the others. So, not conclusive. Not by a long shot. And actually, it what's that? So it's just. Ooh, that's good reversing. Uh. I think we might need to kill the worker. Okay. Not literally, obviously. Uh, or even virtually. But we'll certainly tell him off, because what on earth was he trying to do? 
because you cannot tell me this tractor can't pull this piss piece of equipment. That would be ludicrous. Uh, I'm guessing, and I'm rubbish at this, as we know. Yep, and I guessed wrong. But then there were patches I missed on the others, so you know what? That kind of evens it up. But yeah, so 1300 per strip. We actually should still have enough, which is interesting. So we'll have to see how that goes, but you know. So far it's looking positive. Okay. So what's that? 2,000, I can't even read that. 2,860 left. And it started with... Yeah, 8,200. Okay. Which means, up on the screen, will be the amount. So I'm just going to make a note of that. Hmm. Interesting. On to the next one. Right, the last of the trailed ones, and that's not, I'm not saying this is a comprehensive, I, to be honest, I don't know if this is everything. I haven't checked, to be fair. This is just what I'd already got downloaded. I just thought I'd try a variety of different things that I already had, just to see if there's any differences. And so far, yeah, there are. So that's interesting. So it'll be interesting to see how this one gets on, because this is the one that really made me think of this. It struck me as it is, but I hadn't used the Z ZGB before. Um, that's pretty good too. Um, and it certainly is conclusive about spreading discs, so that's interesting. Um, okay. So the other curious thing, I'm going to check this now because I did not I didn't think I noticed it while I was... So according to the store, and your spreaders, right? This has a capacity of 19,600 litres. How much line have we got in there? Okay, so it is 19,600 litres. Okay, fine. I mean, let's face it, it looks pretty cool. I do love these tracks. Uh, so what's the spreading width on this one? It doesn't say. Am I being dense? Mind you, I think, it, I think it's actually different as well. Um, I think it spreads. Oh, it doesn't say. Okay. Uh, uh, interesting. You normally get a spreading width on a manure spreader, right? How odd. I think it's quite wide. It's going to make guessing this quite tricky. Um, yeah, I seem to remember thinking it looked really wide when I used it. In Mar on Marwell, so let's see how we do. Also need it at the next. Sorry, I'm going to get in your way. Okay, so you have to open it first. L1 and X, like you would have in your spreader. Yeah, it's huge. Actually, that's that's pretty. That was a pretty good guess. Actually, I got that one right at least. Yeah, it's a pretty widespread. Look at that. That's amazing. Nineteen six, so it's already used a thousand litres. Interesting. But it is a pretty comprehensive spread looks to be, I mean I guess that's probably about the same as the Amazon, that looks pretty wide. Worker's certainly coping a lot better with it, so far anyway. Okay, I'm not sure what it was with the Amazon, it's left quite a gap at the top. But, you know, we did do a full width all the way down there, which is the first one of the first one to have done that successfully, so you know, like I say, it probably balances out roughly. Right, leave it to it. Okay, so that's the Stratman done. The worker did miss this tiny little bottom corner off, but I just finished it off just so we didn't miss too much. So what's that? Fourteen four nine two. 
14492. Okay, well, uh, how much that's used will come up on the screen. I'm not going to pass any judgments at this point. I've got to do all the calculations. Okay, next. And here we are again, two left. And of course, our little IT runner crawler track is sadly left looking rather forlorn and empty without the Stroutman. Right, so this is the ZAM. This is at its max capacity, which is 3,000 litres. So obviously, based on current results, I'm going to need to fill this at least twice. But like I said, I'll, you know, we'll fill it, run it till it's empty, and I'll show you each time it's filled. If only, you know, to prove that I'm doing it right, and only as a reminder to myself as to how many times I had to fill it. So... Quite there. Oh. Well, that could prove tricky. Doesn't want to. Let's put the menu on a sec. I'm getting no option to fill that up. Okay, so immediately there's a bit of a downside if you're using one of these silos. Okay. So that'd be a no then. Right, back to the store. Maybe I missed something. It's fine, we'll just buy a few bags. It's no big deal. One thing I would say is I did know, I can't remember it was which one of these, I think it was this one that I used, uh, the ZAM rather than the ZAU, because I've used that previously, so I'm using that one, this one on New Woodshire at the moment, and did find out that if you use the um, modded bags, that uh, you couldn't use the sort of hook crane type thing. I might as well buy quite a few, don't know what I'm going to need. Get dumb. Um, yeah, that you you couldn't use it to actually. You have to be next to it, which is quite unusual because sometimes with these it's the other way around. They um they can be a bit random. I have found previously actually one thing that is it that you, that does work is you um you put this in with something else, convert them to standard pallets, and then the standard pallets tend to be for some mods the only things that will fill. So sometimes you get a bit of a challenge using these modded bags, which of course are a lot cheaper um, and a lot more convenient because they're bigger compared to the standard pallets. Um, so yeah, that's something else to watch out for. But I have a few put them in a... I think it was fertilizer. I was having that problem with one of the cedars. In fact, I think it was even a modded cedar. So I, I filled up my fertilizer spreader with the fertilizer, converted it to pallets rather than these bags, and then that worked. Or pallets with the standard in game big bags, you know. Right, so here we go. This one's got a 24 metre width. So I need to bear that in mind, which probably wants to be about here then. The interesting thing about this one as well, don't be, don't be confused by it, is that the, the, the graphic visual, I think I've got that about right actually, maybe a little bit far over to the left, but yeah, the graphic um, appears to spread a lot further than it actually spreads, so that's something to bear in mind with this one as well. But anyway, that's not what we're here to worry about. Let's see how we do. Okay, so that's that. So I'm just going to do this again. Tiny little bit, although to be fair, I think this one's covered it more effectively than all the others. Because of course it's not a trailed unit, so actually for where you've got tight spaces, um, 
it's uh, it's pretty effic efficient. So what's that? So it's 928 left. Okay, so how much does that mean that'll come up on the screen? And one more. So here we are with the ZAU. And uh, interestingly enough, this one does work. It might just be I didn't have it positioned properly. I'm not going to, you know, make any major judgment at all on that. Um, but yeah, this one does work with the silo. But maybe you'll find the same thing, and maybe it is just the ZAM that won't work. Don't know. So, what are we looking at spreading width wise? 18 meters, okay, so a little bit narrower. So let's try that there then. I look the right, actually. Ah. Sorry. And actually, I don't want a whole run up the edge done. Missing that bit. There we go. Right, let's see how we do. Well, there you go. So, uh, I mean, all right, it hasn't done this tiny little edge here, but uh, that was only second fill. That, if my, and I need to check my maths, but that to me looks like a ludicrously small amount of line. I'll check all the numbers. I'll see you on the other side. So, there you go first little sort of comparison test type thing and bizarrely enough I managed to use them in decreasing quantity of lime that was not planned in any way shape or form um, but yeah so it certainly is true that the spreader discs uh, that you get as an option but a very expensive option they'll cost you an extra eight grand on the bradles uh, use a lot less lime um, the Amazon ZGB used a lot less lime than the bradle with the spreader discs the Strout and Stroyblitz used significant, slightly less line, but, but a significant quantity less line given the size of the field. So it used 200 litres less lime again than the Amazon ZGB. So that's pretty good on what is a relatively small field. So you multiply that on a big field, that's going to make a heck of a difference. The Amazon ZAM, which is this one, the slightly bigger of the two, the 3,000 litre capacity used 5,072. So again, slightly less than the Stroy Blitz, but questionably whether that's significant. Actually, it's not really. Um, but the Amazon ZAU, this little one here, only used 2,474 litres of lime. I only had to refill it once. And it still didn't use all of that, which is, oh, that's a bit odd, um, which is astounding. Um, now, clearly, so uh, well, I guess what's clear is that actually the smaller ones, you know, these two, they use less lime than these big ones. But obviously you've got to weigh that against, um, you know, the, the inconvenience to have to keep really refilling this. If you've got a sizable field, you're going to have to, even though it uses a lot less lime, you're going to have to fill that a lot. Um, so that's, there's a sort of convenience factor, I guess, built in with some of these bigger ones. But I've got to say, it's not quite as conclusive as I thought, but this, I was right, the Stroy Blitz definitely uses less than the two Bradles, but then so does this modded Amazon. So, you know, there are differences. Um, so yeah, I, I hope that might have been useful, um, revealed a few things that people didn't know about. I guess the other thing to bear in mind, of course, is it also depends what you want to use it for otherwise, right? So I mean, you know, the Bradles, they're fertilizer and lime. Actually, as I suppose all of these are, these are all fertilizer and lime. These ones at the end, they're just fertilizer, these two. And a lot of the other fertilizer mods don't spread lime. These all spread fertilizer and lime, these five. Um, on the other hand, not the horse, 
Um, whereas, of course, the Stroitman um, is, in function, a manure spreader. Um, but, you know, but you can also spread lime with it. So it kind of depends what you want. You know, if you're doing liquid fertilizer and you've got nothing else to spread lime, but you want to do manure, then the Stroy Blitz is perfect. But it just, you know, it's choices, it's options, and, and it does have an impact. So I guess I've proved my theory that there are differences. Not all lime spreaders are created equal in terms of how much lime they use. And it just depends on what you want to go for. So there you go. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you did, like, subscriptions, very much appreciated. I might do some more of these. It'll depend what mods come out and what ideas come to me. Um, I've got an idea for a short one. This one's quite long, but I've got an idea for another one I want to do. Um, if you've got anything else, you know, that's not too time consuming, I'll do these periodically, I guess, um, that you're interested in or, you know, curious or, you know, questions or whatever, then uh, drop me a message in the comments. Otherwise, check out some of my other farming videos and uh, I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.